Hi, hello, I'm here with a new article about uh, extrapyramidal symptoms and cognitive symptoms. The title is title of the study is Extrapyramidal Symptoms Predict Cognitive Performance After First Episode Psychosis. And this is the uh, Journal of Schizophrenia, it is the Nature uh, Journal. And this is interesting because uh, normally um, extrapyramidal symptoms are um, side effect of antipsychotics. And uh, let's read the abstract to understand the article further. Extrapyramidal symptoms such as tremor, rigidity, and and uh, bradykinesi are common side effects of most antipsychotics and may associate with impaired performance in neurocognitive testing. And uh, they tested their uh, in they tested uh, extrapyramidal symptoms in first episode psychosis, first episode psychosis, and uh, mild uh, symptoms were present at treatment onset in 40% of 40% of the participants. Extrapyramidal symptoms were related with lower performance in neurocognitive testing at baseline and at follow-up especially among those with non-effective psychotic disorder and especially in tasks requiring speed of processing. It's interesting. So I always find it interesting the way that we dissect cognitive, symptom, cognitive symptoms and cognitive skills. No associations between extrapyramidal symptoms and social cognition were detected. In linear regression models, when positive and negative symptom levels and Chlorpyrimazine equivalents were accounted for because those can affect, those may affect, um, in animal studies, those may affect dyskinesia symptoms. And baseline extrapyramidal symptoms were associated with worse baseline global neurocognition and visu visual motor performance. Baseline extrapyramidal symptoms also longitudinally predicted global verbal and, and visual motor, sorry, uh, and visual motor. Cognition. However, there were no cross-sectional associations between extrapyramidal symptoms and cognitive performance at follow-up. In summary, we found both cross-sectional and longitudinal associations between extrapyramidal symptoms and neurocognitive task performance in the early course of psychosis. Those without extrapyramidal symptoms had higher baseline and follow-up neurocognitive performance even mild extrapyramidal symptoms may represent early markers of long-term neurocognitive impairment. This is well known. I think this study, uh, I'm not sure wh why this study is um, very original because <clears throat> I think that because of the longitudinal design, it is an interesting study. But besides of it, it is well known that extrapyramidal symptoms can is related to cognitive performance. And uh, here, another difference is probably the prediction. And uh, interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye bye.